Hello everybody and welcome back to The Bourbon Bar. I'm Holden and today I'm going to be doing a review of the new Elastica Barrel Proof Batch B523. Now if you guys aren't aware, this is the new one. This is the Elastica Barrel Proof that they dropped the age limit on. This one is only 11 years and 5 months old coming in at 124.2 proof. That's 62.1% alcohol. Uh, this is this year's B Batch 5 being May of 2023. That's where the 23 comes in and yeah, this is a big deal because as if you guys aren't aware, um, Elijah Craig decided to drop the 12 year age statement on their Elijah Craig barrel proofs. Uh, what this could mean is we could be getting bottles under 12 years old, but we could also be getting bottles over 12 years old. So um, it all just depends on what they decide to make their um, batches out of. But one thing that uh, Heaven Hill has said, I believe, um, if I got my facts right on this, is that there are some good whiskeys that are under that 12 year age statement that would blend in really well with the other stuff. So it's like one of those things where like, yeah, it may not be 12 years old, but is the allowance of slightly younger whiskey gonna allow these to be better and better um, as they go forward, allow them to do some more different um, batches, you know? Uh, that's just, I don't know, that's kind of my two cents. Honestly, like, if you guys are gonna take away the age statement, then there's hopefully a reason, and hopefully it's not just because they're running out of juice, but they've been putting out 12 year stuff for a long time, so I can't imagine that they're running out of juice. I can't imagine someone at Elijah Craig said, we're gonna keep making stuff, but we're just gonna stop aging it for 12 years, because let's be honest, they put them out in batches, uh, they're somewhat limited, I guess, I don't know if they're limited, but they're somewhat limited depending on your area. So it's not like they're probably selling out of all their stock. I can imagine that they make more every day, more than enough to keep this going, but I digress. Um, today's review is B523, uh, and it is the 11 year and five months old Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Let's go ahead and see how it is. Let's see if that age statement really matters. So, got it in the blend here, Bourbon Bar Blend, represent. Um, now, I, if you guys recall, I liked the B batch of last year, B522. It's one of my favorite Elijah Craig um, Barrel Proofs. So I just wanna see if this one's gonna be anywhere close to that, if the profile's gonna be somewhat the same. But um, I did uh, open it up and review it on the live stream, so I did get a little bit of initial reaction, but it's had some more time to open and have some time to sip it here. So we'll go ahead and get on the nose. Okay, right away, um, spicy, uh, peanutty, like a peanut dust or note in it. Um, it's got this like, uh, oaky nuttiness in it, which I really enjoy. That's one of the things I liked about the batch last year is that it, it was a little bit more peanutty um, than your typical batches. So uh, also, I feel like I am getting a, some kind of fruit. Can't quite um, place it in there, but it's got, got this like very good uh, butterscotchy, no, not butterscotch, like um, burnt like caramel or burnt brown sugar, like this crystallized sweetness. Uh, but it's not like, it's more like a baked, like, it's like, like I said, crystallized sweetness. Um, it's not like candy, it's more like crystallized sweetness, like crystallized caramel or something, or, or brown sugar. Uh, but it's, it is mixed in there with that spice. Um, spices, I would honestly just give it like all spice. Um, it's definitely got like a plethora of different spices in there, uh, including a bit of oak spice. Um, and the oak is actually coming through on this one, which is, Pleasant surprise. Um, it is only seven months younger than the other uh, 12 year old Lodge Grape Barrel Proofs, but nonetheless, age is age, and there's no replacement for uh, oak presence. But let's go ahead and get on the palette. Okay, okay. Initially, a little bit sweet. I do, I am picking up some kind of fruitness in there, and not like, not very fruity by any means, but there is a hint of some kind of light fruit in there. Um, I don't know, maybe an apple skin, like just very tame. But oh, but then it's like going into like really good spice, um, like a very good cinnamon and nutmeg um, spice in there, and honestly, like, a little bit of, like, a peanut buttery aspect. Great mouthfeel on this one. But then in the finish, it's got, like, spice, and it's hot. It drinks proof. 
for sure drinks the proof. Um, it's a spicy gal, it's got a lot of oak spice and um, uh, not like tannic by any means, but it is a little bit drier. Um, as I said on my live stream the other day when I first drank it, um, it leaves, it's not sapping all the moisture out of your mouth by any means, but it is a little bit drier than like a typical um, whiskey that you would be drinking, even at cast strength. Um, but not in a bad way. I don't necessarily love super dry whiskey like that sometimes, but this is not on that spectrum for me. So first it was nice, let's get it again. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. A lot of spice in this one, um, some nuttiness in it, but a lot of spice going on in this one. Overall, if you guys are um, spicy, proofy fans, you might be digging this. Now, I wanna compare it against batch B522, which was last year's batch, just to see how well they compare against each other. So we got B522 here going in the Independent Joe, Glenn Karen, shout out to Independent Joe. Um, this B522 is 121 proof um, and it is 12 years old, so it is a slightly lower proof uh, and a couple months older, not much, just seven months older at least, minimum. Uh, but let's go ahead and get that one on the nose. Oh man, granted I've had this one for a year open, it's been about, um, it's half full so it has had a lot of opportunities to breathe. But, the nose of this one has so much more sweet, um, peanut brittle like a sweet peanut brittle in it. It does have some spice in it though, but it's got like a peanut brittle, just candy sweetness here on the nose. Just lots of peanuts actually in this one, uh, which I enjoy, but let's get on the palate. Mmm, palate, a lot tamer than this one. Definitely less spice in it. A lot more of that like peanut butter, um, a little bit of like a chocolate, um, cocoa powder, um, peanutty, oaky goodness. Um, easy to drink, it's got a little bit of like that uh, caramely, like a peanut butter, caramel, chocolate, brownie situation going on in here. but it does still have a bit of that spice in the back end. Compared to the, the A, or the, <clears throat> compared to the B batch of this year. Okay, similar, honestly, it's got some redeeming qualities from the B batch of last year. However, the B batch from this year has a lot more spice in it. Definitely spicier, and drinks hotter, um, than this one, but you know, honestly, it, it's closer, I think, than the other one. So I'll have to do it in an end of the year blind to really get a good comparison. I'll have to do it in a blind once the C batch from this year comes out to get it in a real good comparison. But overall, um, B batch is a lot spicier this year, um, but it does have a lot of those redeeming, like peanutty, savory notes in it, which I enjoy. But that being said, guys, let's go ahead and get a grade. But before we do that, let's listen to a message from today's sponsor. Alright everybody, as you guys know, I am sponsored by a company called Wrist Mafia and what they do is they're a subscription based company that sends watches in the mail to your door every single month. For only $40 a month, you guys can get watches valued at $100 or more uh, and honestly, they send you some pretty cool stuff. So I just got this one recently, which I'll throw some b-roll up on the screen here, but this watch is super cool. I really like it. It's got um, the day of the week, the date and the time and it is a very nice white face with blue hands and I just like the whole vibe of it. it goes well with a lot of outfits that I wear. Um, but the fact that they send you a watch every month means that you're expanding your horizon on watches and really just building a collection of things that you have something to wear with every outfit that you could ever dream of. Now uh, they have a monthly subscription package or they have a three or six month subscription where you can pay ahead of time and get sent watches sent to your door or gift it to someone else for the next three or six months every month. Um, now, if you guys are interested in this, I do have a link down in the description. You guys can use my coupon code, which is Bourbon Bar, all caps, all one word. That'll save you 20% off at the checkout. Uh, honestly, guys, I don't think you'll regret it. If you guys are into watches or you just want to like 
have some great compliments to the outfits that you wear when you're going out, I definitely think Rest Mafia is the way to go. So please check out the link in the description and join Rest Mafia today. Everybody, so we're back for the grading portion and I have done the nose, palette, and value for the money and decided to give you guys these following scores. Now, uh, this one is great on the nose. Honestly, the nose is um, probably one of the better parts of it. I am going to have to give it an 8.5 out of 10 on the nose because it's great. Um, but there are still things that beat it out there, which is why it's only in the 8s. Now, on the palette, we got an 8.5 out of 10 as well. Um, because honestly, the palette and the nose really went well together. Um, they didn't stray too far from each other. And honestly, you can get the palette exactly what you thought on the nose. And it's pretty on par, uh, along with that spice in there. Um, so the palette got an 8.5 as well. Now, value for the money, this thing gets an 8.9 out of 10 because this is Logic Ray Barrel Proof. I paid $62 or $68, somewhere around there. Um, I think it was 68 after like tax and everything, locking out the door. And it's so good. It's still so good. I will reach for this bottle repeatedly um, on like a typical like day that I want to just drink good whiskey, you know. I'm never going to not want this bottle, you know. So that being said, 8.9 is definitely deserving. Round those all together, divide by three. And this overall, this whiskey gets an 8.6 out of 10 for me. Now, if you take into consideration the fact that you may or may not find it and it's slash grape barrel proof and they only put out three a year, um, this is definitely a buy. If you guys see it, you should definitely pick it up because uh, it's just, it's slash grape barrel proof. It's, it's good. The age statement come to find out, does not matter because this is just as good, if not better than some of the Elijah Craig Barrel Proofs that I've had in the past. And I will put that to the test on a blind comparison. I'm sure one week on the live streams, I'll probably do that maybe next week, but we'll see. But that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Also, please leave a comment in the comment section. That would help me out a lot. Just let me know whether or not you guys have seen this one and what your thoughts are of this new batch, B522, and how you feel about the age statement being removed. Because honestly, it's a big deal for a lot of people, but I guess in this case, it didn't really matter. That being said, I hope you guys have a great night, and I'll see you all in the next class.